Hey everybody, happy mm, Tuesday, or is it Wednesday? Nope, it's Tuesday. Um, to you, I'm super excited to be here because I wanna to talk to you about five CEO shifts for a brand that captivates and converts, and I have $100 to give away via Instagram, so you're gonna to wanna to stick around to the end for details on how to do that. It'll take you 30 seconds, and it's $100 PayPal cash, real cash, but comes through your PayPal account, um, and I wanna to talk to you about um, you know, next year and things that you're going to need to move and shift around in your business in order to really hit your goals, whether they're impact goals or their income goals. Um, it's really important that we shift our minds and continue to grow um, in the process because it's a journey and we don't know what we didn't know when we first started. And so that's why I come here. That's why I do these lives. And if you see me looking from one camera to the other, it's because I'm going live on Instagram as well as on Facebook. So um, let's jump right into it. So if you are wanting to make more in income and more impact in your business, there's really five shifts that you need to make in order to go from being a blogger or just being a business owner um, or somebody who has an online business to really stepping up and owning the level of income that you want to make. So if that's 50,000 a year, 100,000 a year, 200,000 a year. There are CEO shifts um, and they're just really pivots. They're not really huge things that if you're already doing them, keep doing them. But sometimes it's so good to be reminded of things that even though we know we know we're not always great about taking action to do those things. So step number one, CEO shift number one is commit. Um, if you're going to try something out, you really do need to commit to doing it. Um, and the recommended time for that is about 90 days. Um, anywhere between 60 and 90 days, different research says, you know, different numbers, but really giving it a solid 90 days, especially in the online space, so that you can get seen, so you can get known, so you, people can get to like you, can get to know and trust you. Um, that is going to really benefit you, even if you don't end up getting the results that you would like to have gotten. And nothing is going to hurt your authority more than constantly shifting and pivoting and saying, I'm this or I'm that, I'm wearing this hat or I'm wearing that hat. Um, I should know, I did that a lot in my first year of business. And I think I made like three different websites. <laughs> so don't keep shifting. Stick with something for 90 days. And if it doesn't work, that's not a loss. That's not a failure. That is a lesson learned. And you can run forward and say like, I know this doesn't work. I don't need to spend any more time on that. CEO shift number two, it is so easy for us to overcomplicate things. Keep it simple. You need simple in your life and your clients need simple in their lives. They're looking for easy solutions. They're looking for simple solutions. They're looking for things that are accessible and immediately actionable in their lives so that they can get results, even if those results are two, three weeks, three months, a year down the road. Um, and being consistent with your commitment, being consistent with keeping things simple is going to be absolutely key. And there are so many little hacks for staying consistent. I talk about a ton of them in my Map Your Content course, but some of those things are simply looking at your schedule and setting a pace that you know you can stick with. And I have clients who only blog once a month, but man, they market the crap out of that one blog post and they get a ton of engagement on it and it really builds their know like a trust factor. And it's a beautiful thing that they're doing so that when they're able to move to two blogs a month, man, that's going to be powerful. And it's grown their list like bonkers, just writing one post a month and getting as visible with it as possible. So she said, I can only write one a month. I've got kids, I've got three of them. They're crazy. I homeschool, but I've got this thing on my heart and I want to make it happen. So you know what? Her people can expect to hear from her once a month and then to engage with her on social media. And that's all she can do in this season, but that's a lot and she's consistent. So batching your content, that's another thing um, that I talk about in Map Your Content, which I'm not even really promoting right now, but that's something I talk about a lot is, is systems and strategies and batching to really maximize your productivity. But we're not maximizing productivity for the sake of getting, doing more, doing more, doing more. We're doing it so that we can be consistent in our look, and our sound, and our messaging, and our visuals, and our identity, and everything. Hello to whoever is watching this. Please say hi. I'd love to know where you're tuning in from. Um, and the number four, CEO shift number four, slowing down and listening in. Man, I have really strong feels about hustling. I'm all about working hard, 
And I don't think that there's anything wrong with hustling, except that it's not helping you. Hustling sets you up to miss details, to do things that maybe are not totally in your zone of genius or your areas of strength. And that is going to end up hurting you in the long run more than helping you. And by slowing down, noticing the details, listening to your gut or listening to your intuition, whatever you want to call that, I call it listening to my gut. What is my gut telling me? This doesn't feel good right now. Why? Um, that, that is going to be the thing that helps you, one, not waste your time and not live a lifestyle where you're hairy scary all the time and pulling your hair out and not taking care of yourself. You're not exercising. You're not eating well. You're not drinking water, which I need to do because... I'm not really good at drinking water. <laughs> water just got everywhere. So the last thing for a CEO shift is building a key community around you. That's number five. Number one was commit for 90 days at least. Number two was keep things simple. Number three is be consistent. There's all kinds of little things that you can do to help you get be consistent. Oh, and I forgot one, getting support. It is okay for you to get support around being consistent, whether that's a VA or an OBM or a coach, having something that helps hold you accountable, a social media scheduler, you know, there's all these little things that can support you to be consistent and you don't have to do it on your own because it is hard. It's hard to be consistent in the beginning, especially if you're not sure which direction you really want to throw everything in on. Number four was slowing down, listening in. That's what a CEO would do. Um, and then building key community around you. Um, as I've been in this for three years now, I was taking a lot of pride out of my first year doing things all by myself, doing all of my graphics, all of my website, all of my copywriting, all of my sales stuff, all of my webinars. It was ridiculous building my courses, doing all the things. And I made this much progress. I mean, I made progress. I sold things. I learned a ton. But man, I, I, I thought I could do it by myself. And then, then I discovered joint ventures. Then I discovered masterminds, then I discovered Facebook groups, and I was like, oh my gosh, these women are going so far and so fast because they're one, willing to get a little bit vulnerable about where they're at honestly, and two, like there are amazing people who are really willing to help you go further. Um, and that's the beauty of a Facebook group, that's the beauty of a mastermind, there's Instagram pods, Pinterest tribes, Whatever that is, whatever your season is, look for community and key community, not just any community. Make sure it's the right people. And you know what? You have permission to say, hey, you're an amazing person. I love what you're doing, but I don't know that this is the right fit for this season. I'd love to maybe work with you down the road, but I know right now I really need to focus on this thing. And that's okay. You have permission to say that to people in your community with all the love in your heart. And if they're supportive of you and your business and you're supportive of them, it's going to be a good thing. You don't have to worry or fear hurting someone's feelings. And so um, next week, I'm going to be posting an invite for us to take a little more action on this for 2019 to set up virtual coffee dates. So be thinking about that. Be looking at your schedule. Um, but for the moment, speaking of biz besties, I am working with some amazing ladies who are working together and giving away $100 cash. So this is the giveaway piece. Um, the, the giveaway is on Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, go to my handle at Brittany Rossi um, on Instagram. And then on there, you'll see a post called PayPal Cash Giveaway. There's instructions there. It'll take you 30 seconds to follow them. And then you're entered. There's also an option for you to get entered twice if you share about the giveaway on your Instagram story. So that's it. Um, I will drop my handle below, but let's connect on Instagram. And two, I don't know anybody who wouldn't say yes to an extra hundred dollars cash, especially around Christmas time. So I will be sharing about this on all the platforms in my email list and also on Instagram. So take action on that. You could get a hundred dollars. I'm really excited to do that for you guys. And um, let's, let's shift into CEO mindsets together in 2019. And this is a thing that requires accountability and requires a little bit of support, but you can do it because you're amazing. And I believe that you're here in this community because you have a dream and you have goals and you're setting out to hit them. So that's what I'm here to do. I'm going to drop my link for Instagram in the comments below. And if you guys have any thoughts or questions about that, just reach out to me. I'm totally here to support you in whatever way you need. And I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.